Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I want to talk to you today about uh, something special. You need to ensure that when you're working on teams, um, and there's teams of coders, teams of developers, that you've got some kind of mechanism for ensuring that the team by and large works in a similar fashion. Um, the last thing you want is to have everybody doing things completely differently. Further, um, you want to avoid a, a, a knowledge gap. Now, you might know, for example, that it's always good to um, put in the owners of tables, but not every single person is going to know to put that on their queries. So you've got to have a mechanism in place to ensure that you've got uh, code coverage. And um, Redgate's here to help. I want you to take a look at SQL Prompt. I'm going to walk you through how it works and what it does and how we can actually help you ensure that you've got better uh, code in your team. And this is Management Studio and you can see I've got a query window open here for um, a, uh, a series of scripts that I'm, that I'm running. Um, nothing important about them per se, but you get the idea of, of uh, you know, that, that it's, you know, it's a bunch of queries and store procedures and stuff. And so if we scroll through the um, script, you know, you can see there's various different things, but you'll notice over on the right, um, there's a little bar showing red and showing green. Now, probably most of you have probably seen the red because that's showing um, places where, you know, you've got some problems in your code that you need to take a look at. Now, you may have seen red before, but I doubt you've seen green. Now, if we take a look over here at one of the green lines, it lines up exactly with this statement right here. So now if I hover, there it goes. It tries to be too helpful sometimes. Asterisk in select list. In short, what I've done is, is I've, I've done a select star from one of my tables, and that's not considered to be a good practice. So my code review has double checked me to see what's going on and made a prompt to suggest possible uh, solutions for that. Um, now we can see in other places where I've done a select star here as well. Asterisk and select list. And so that's something that, you know, that comes up pretty frequently. Now if we scroll around, we can find other places. Creation of table by select into statement. Again, not necessarily something bad, but something you need to know about, a choice that you're going to make in terms of, the op uh, in terms of your query writing. Um, I've got a drop table in the middle of my stuff, so I'm interleaving DDL and DML in my store procedures. All of these things are part of our new um, code analysis rules. And if you take a look, we've got a whole series of best practices. We have got deprecation lists, you know, dep deprecated behaviors, um, execution rules, uh, miscellaneous rules, performance rules to ensure that you've got things running correctly, and um, script rules. And so, like, for there should be no use in, in batch statements. I've got that one disabled right now because I, I put the use statement in quite a lot in some of my test scripts and things that I'm working on. And so you get the idea. Now, you can turn these things on. You can turn them off. You can analyze them or not. And you can determine them all for your team um, and then set them up so that your team has got a common set of code analysis rules to validate what's going on within your system. Um, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward. It's a great new addition to ensure that you guys arrive at um, uh, better um, mechanisms of managing your code within a team. That's it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.